Hello everybody, I'm Colin from Special Eye Apps and very pleased to be with you virtually today. I'd really like to thank the ASL conference organisers for making it possible for us to show you some of our educational apps for children with additional support needs. The idea for Special Eye Apps came from my wife Bev suggesting to me in 2011 that we could develop our own apps to help teach our younger son William. William was born in 2005 with Down syndrome and later diagnosed as being on the autism spectrum. Bev and I both have backgrounds in tech and education and writing software was something we both had many years of experience in and our elder son Joe lent us his voice for the apps. In 2018, the Queen awarded Bev an MBE in recognition of our work to help children with special needs around the world. The photo below was at Buckingham Palace. Our team has since grown with Neil being our sales and marketing guru Kirsty, our lead programmer, and Rebecca managing our social media and web content. Over the years, we've been approached by teachers, speech therapists, disability support organisations and parents from around the world, asking if they could help us translate our apps. With their assistance, we've been able to offer support for more than 25 languages. This map, which is a few years old now, shows in blue all the countries where our apps have been downloaded. We started developing touch screen apps for Apple iPads and iPhones, but now they're also available for Android devices and Google Chromebooks. For children whose physical disability means they can't operate a touch screen, but who can use a switch, we've made several of our apps switch accessible, and you can also use them with external keyboard and mouse. Along the way, we've picked up a number of regional, national and international awards um, continue to receive enthusiastic feedback from parents, professionals and the children themselves. Here's an extract of a video I took in Kiev, Ukraine in 2017 of Max, a little boy who has Down syndrome, three years old at the time, using our special words app for the first time. <laughs> You need you need Velocipet. This would help me. Velocipet. Качели. Качели. Special Words is one of several apps we have to support literacy. Let's take a closer look at it. Book. The app has six activities you can select from the bar at the bottom. The first is match the pictures, which you just saw Max using. What you have to do here is to match the picture in the middle to the one that's the same. We can do this by dragging. Book. Dolly or by tapping the card that's the same. Dolly. Car. You don't have to position the cards exactly. Car. Ball. And there are no negative rewards if you place the card in the wrong place. Ball. We would then go on to the second activity, matching the words. Dolly. Dolly. Book. Book. Ball. And then go on to matching words to pictures. Ball. Ball. Book. Book. And pictures to words. Dolly. Book. Book. Dolly. 
Dolly. Now, Durham Local Educational Authority did a study in 2012 where they asked mainstream schools to support children with special needs in using special words for 10 to 15 minutes, four or five times a week for a 12 week term and assess the results. What they found was improvements in sight vocabulary, fine motor skills, hand-eye coordination and general confidence. Some of the gains were particularly impressive. Shard H here, who was a five-year-old girl with Down syndrome, went from being able to recognise five written words at the start of the term to 96 by the end. Special Words comes with a list of 96 words and you can download more lists from our website. It's also really easy to add your own words, photos and audio and to create new lists. To add a word in the current list, we just tap plus at the top. Enter the text. Take a picture with the camera or choose one we already have. And record some sound. Dad. And now I'm in the activities. You can also modify any existing word. So if the child says, that's not my car, my car is blue, we can photograph our car and put that right. Like in all of our apps, there are lots of settings you can adjust to best match the child's development level. One thing we find is that some kids have a very good photographic memory and can remember which card is at the top right on page three. And so in that case, we can make sure we're not just assessing that by telling the app to shuffle the cards. Special Words is one of several apps we have to support literacy and you can exchange content between them. Let's have a look at Special Stories next. Each page in a story can have text, photo and sound. It's really easy to add a new story, we just tap plus to create the first page. We went for a walk. And we can add more pages now or later. We saw some sheep. And then we can read and listen to the story. We went for a walk. We saw some sheep. William and many other children use special stories for homeschool communication. William is largely non-verbal and can't tell us what he did at school today, but he takes his iPad into school and each day he's learning support assistants create a little story for us, or maybe more than one, showing us what he was doing that day. It's also very good for producing social stories. For instance, um, we have to take William from time to time to the dental hospital and that's quite a scary experience. And if we can show him a story of when he went the previous time before the next visit, then that can reduce his stress and anxiety level. Now in this instance, um, Dad took William down to the x-ray department um, where there was a lady in a buzzing machine. and We asked William to sit still 
you know, in the chair and then dad and the lady ran away and so William's natural inclination was to was to run after us um, but uh, after some perseverance we were able to get a 360 degree x-ray of his teeth and by showing this to him again next time I think we can encourage him um, that, that sitting in the chair isn't such a bad experience after all. One thing I mentioned just earlier is transferring content between our apps. So let me go back to special words where I have a word list about who lives at our house. I can export this from special words to special stories. So now I have a new story in which each page in the story is taken from one of the cards I had in special words. Mum. Dad. Joseph. <coughs> I could now further develop this story. So for instance, changing the text of this page to say, I have a cat called Tiger. And there are a number of ways in which I could go on to share the story, uh, for instance, um, emailing it to somebody as a PDF or in its original format or sending it to the printer. We could also repurpose the same content in our special spelling app. J. O. S. E. P. H. Joseph. I can also go on to constructing sentences from the content I have using our special sentences app. Joseph is my brother. Joseph is my brother. Full stop. Joseph is my brother. And in this case, I've chosen to take advantage of the fact that all of our apps also support uh, text-to-speech as an alternative to recording your own audio. So let me just finish with a quick recap of all the apps I've shown you today. You can find much more about them on our website. Special Words actually comes in three editions, a free no-obligation trial that you can sign up for on our website, plus the standard and professional editions. There are extra features in the professional edition including um, extra resources, assessment sheets and printing, which can make this ideal for a teacher. Special Stories, as we saw, has a really wide range of uses. Special Spelling is a logical next step once you've mastered reading whole words. And Special Sentences is a great follow-on to any of the other three. If you're a school purchasing an apps in volume by Apple School Manager, you can benefit from a 50% discount when buying 20 or more licenses of any individual app. For parents or therapists with an Apple device, we do offer a discounted bundle of four of our literacy and numeracy apps called Special Collection. Thank you so much for watching and listening. If you'd like to get in contact with us, I'll put our details up on the screen for you now. You can email us at support at specialiapps.org, fill in the contact form on our website, or send us a message on social media at Special iApps. To download our apps from the App Store, Google Play, or Amazon App Store, just search for Special iApps on the store. Bye for now.